This is a story about a young man going through a difficult period who played the piano game to try to improve his luck. The rules of the game are set. If you win, your luck gets good. But if you lose, your luck changes for the worse. So stay tuned for this gruesome affair. I played the piano game. I wish I didn't. Finding yourself in the talons of an owl in the shadows of the forest moonlight. It's a gruesome affair. Hello, my name is Jackson. I'm a 27 year old man from Maine. I won't bore you with any more details of myself, so I'll just get right down to why I'm writing this. I've been struggling with finances ever since I moved out on my own, right after graduating high school. I've been playing piano ever since I was five years old, when my parents forced me to take lessons. I ended up really enjoying playing piano, so going to these lessons never bothered me. I got pretty good at it too. In fact, it's my dream to make a career out of it. However, in my small town, it's rather hard to find other musicians to meet up with. And like I said earlier, I'm not exactly in a good financial situation to go and move to somewhere more suited for a musician. I've had trouble keeping a stable income. I've only been able to find jobs offering minimum wage. A few weeks ago, I was ranting to my friend Josh about how hopeless I felt, feeling like I should just give up on my dreams and just go to some trade school and get a job that way. What Josh would then say would lead me down a rabbit hole that would end up really screwing up my life, making how things once were seem not so bad. Josh told me about how his uncle used to tell him stories of a piano game. Josh explained that if you play the game, it can really change your life for the better. Well, if you win, that is. Here are the rules to the game. Rule 1. You must start the game at any time between midnight and 3 o'clock a.m. Any sooner or later, and it won't work. Rule 2. You must be inside a house with all the doors closed and locked. It doesn't have to be your house, but that's preferable. Rule number three. All electronics in the house must be off. This includes, but is not limited to, phones, TVs, lights, etc. Candles and matches are allowed. Rule four. You can have more than one person in the house but they must be silent. The game will not start if someone is making noise. Rule 5. The game can only be played on an acoustic piano. The model doesn't matter, just as long as it's not electronic. Rule 6. It's recommended that you have some skill to play the piano. If you don't know how to play the piano at all, it is not advised to play. It may prove to be too difficult for you. Rule 7. To start the game, you must say out loud three times, I wish to play the piano with you. I wish to play the piano with you. I wish to play the piano with you. Immediately after, you must play a tritone on the piano. Any tritone will work. Doing this will summon a spirit. You will know if the spirit has arrived if the tritone is repeated on its own. A tritone was also known as Diabolus in Musica, or the Devil in Music. Its use was banned by churches in the 1700s. Rule 8. Each round, the game will go back and forth between you and the spirit. You will start first by playing anything on the piano, although it is recommended to keep your playing brief. The spirit will then repeat what you played. After that, it will be the spirit's turn and you must repeat what the spirit played. It doesn't matter the speed you play, at what you play, just as long as you don't hit any wrong notes. If you hit a wrong note, the game will immediately end. I'll get to the consequences for losing shortly. The spirit will match your playing level, which is why it's recommended you keep your playing brief and simple. The game will go on for six rounds. After the sixth round, and you haven't hit any wrong notes, you win. If you win the game, you will have incredible luck for the rest of your life. 
you will easily gain anything your heart desires. However, if you lose the game, you will be stricken with bad luck for the rest of your life. Things will become unbearable for you. Many people who have tried the game have died shortly after. Whether it be from their bad luck or committing suicide after things in their life have gotten so horrible that they just couldn't take it anymore. When Josh told me about the game, I thought it was all bullshit at first, and he was just pulling my leg. However, my curiosity grew soon after that day. What if it was true? I definitely have the skills to pull it off. I did have a piano that was a graduation gift from my parents. I thought, why the hell not? So one day, I decided to wait till midnight. I turned off every electronic in my house, took a candle and put it on top of my piano. I said out loud, I wish to play the piano with you three times and played a tritone. I waited a couple of seconds before the tritone was repeated. A chill ran down my spine. Am I imagining things? Did that really happen? I took a moment to collect myself. I decided to play Mary Had a Little Lamb, an easy enough song that should keep that difficulty low throughout the game. I heard it repeated from my piano, played perfectly. I then heard a somber tune that I hadn't heard before. However, it sounded easy enough. I was pretty good at playing music, I heard, so I didn't fret it too much. However, my hands were shaking. I attempted to play the song, but I made a horrible mistake. My hand slipped and I played the wrong chord. The room I was in filled with cold air and I had an incredible sense of dread. I got up and tried to turn on the lights, but they wouldn't come on. I flicked the switch a couple times, but still nothing. I was filled with an intense feeling of fear and had the urge to run far away. I ran outside my apartment and out of the complex. I ran into a nearby alley to catch my breath. However, I was greeted by two men, one who was tall and slim. The other was a bit shorter, but had a little bit more muscle on him. They were both wearing dark hoodies that covered their faces. They pulled out a gun and demanded everything I had. I didn't have anything on me after running out of my place. So all I just did was explain that I didn't have anything and hoped for the best. They checked my pockets and found nothing. They decided I wasn't worth the hassle and ran off. Feeling like outside my place was no safer than inside, I decided to head back. Once I got back, I felt extremely tired and passed out on the couch in my living room. When I woke, I tried to collect myself and process everything that happened the night before. It all happened so fast. After that, I turned on my phone. I got a notification from my email. It was from my work. My services were no longer needed as they put it. It would all get even worse from here on out. I want everyone here to listen to me. This absolutely horrible game ruined my life. Don't even think to attempt it. If you were to attempt it, you'd have a strong chance to fail and ruin everything for yourself. If you fail, you might find your wife cheating on you with your best friend and she'd take the house while you're stuck on the streets. Or you'd be involved in a terrible car wreck that would leave you paralyzed, or worse. I made this mistake and have to live with the consequences for the rest of my life. I'm currently writing this from a local library. I had been evicted from my apartment when I was unable to pay for rent. I wish I could take it all back, but I can't. I'll give you guys updates in the future, I'll give you but right now I need some future. rest. But right now I need some rest.
To my forest friends, thank you for listening to another tale. I hope you enjoy these horrible stories as much as I do. If so, please rip at the like button and scratch a comment. And be sure to subscribe so we can visit here on the Smoking Owl Tales channel next time. And catch you on another night very soon. And catch you on another night very soon. Catch you on another night very soon.